Each of three players begins each game with three gold coins. On each turn, one may decide from one of three pot potential big actions. Hunting Party is a game of threes. The game is a combination of three main uh, game types. Deduction, a crazy combination card game, and uh, bidding, auction. How the deduction works is each player begins with three clues as to what uh, the three three parts of the prophecy uh, for defeating the Dark One might possibly be. One of the things the player might want to do is use their prophecy tablet in order to figure out what that prophecy is. Uh, because if you, if you figure out the prophecy and you have all the things needed to fulfill the prophecy, you can defeat the Dark One and get a large payout. The game ends when the prophecy is fulfilled and the person then with the most money wins, which is not necessarily the person who fulfilled the prophecy. In order to fulfill the prophecy, however, or in order to get money, which is what you really need to do to win is get money, uh, you have to hire people to help you out. You don't have to, but it can, can be very helpful. So to do that, you pick one of these cards um, in this plus shape in the center of our 3x3 three three grid. We're not thinking about this market, the three cards that are in the market when we speak of the 3x3 three three grid. And you turn them face up. Then you enter the auction portion of the game. Auctions are quick and simple. Uh, players each get to bid once and the player with the highest bid uh, gets the person. Now what you bid, however, is not money. You bid shares of the of all future treasure. So you can, you can bid uh, really high and get all the people, but then you're not going to get any return. Which is a big way that the crazy powers, that the, the crazy card combinations and powers comes into the game. One of the main things you're going to be thinking about in terms of card powers is how to get helpers without having to pay them. Uh, for example, this assassin here, her main ability is that she kills a member of your party. Now why would you want to do that? You might want to kill a member of someone else's party. Well, the reason you want to kill a member of your own party is so that you don't have to pay them. Um, you can get the use out of them that you need and then rather than having to buy them off, you can just kill them off. But how do you get money? Those three coins can't be enough to last you through the whole game. Well, the way you get money is, is involved in the sort of deduction process itself. And I'll go over what that is. One of the main three actions that you have is um, to hunt. To hunt, you first pick which members of your hunting party you want to go along. Uh, say, I wanted my whole party to go. And then you have to pick among their skills uh, from the three different skill types um, in order to and, and make a sort of pronouncement similar to uh, the game Clue or Cluedo if you've played either of those. So in this case I could say I am going to the Mystic Vale um, with range and tracks. Now if anyone can prove that that's not the prophecy, which means they have one of those cards in their hand, they can show it to me, which helps me in my deductive um, situation. Uh, if no one can, then the game's over and I get some money. Um, but if anyone does show me a card, I then have to turn over a monster and fight it. And if I can get, beat the monster, I get money less what I have to pay my people based on their shares. So in this case, say um, my warlock was my starting character, because we already watched me hire the assassin, or kind of, or talk about hiring the assassin. And I have the prophet there and the assassin there, and I have to pay them all. And say we beat the mystic dragon. I don't think we, we actually could, but possibly we could, um, maybe with the help of an item. Okay, so they have five shares, which means I only have three shares. The dragon pays off 16 gold. I go down here, 16, uh, three shares. I only get six gold rather than 16, which is not as much as 16. So that dragon was worth a, a large chunk of money. It was It's one of the harder monsters in the game, I think. It's on the tougher side, and it gives you 16 gold. If you beat the prophecy, you get 40 gold. So that gives you a sense of, of proportion. However, I, I, can't, I can't stress strongly enough that you don't have to get the prophecy right to win the game. Um, you can not get the prophecy at all and just hunt things and acquire gold and the game could go on a long time that way because no one else would want to beat the prophecy because they would think that then you would win the game and presumably they don't want you to win. They want to win themselves. So it's a more open sort of game, especially the, um, the uh, card combination aspect. The, 
the different powers that people can have and how they can affect different things in different ways. And there's, there's an exploration in that, which I find is a lot of fun. But the length is definitely um, not, not something that you can predict when going into it. It's definitely a game designed for just three players. You can play it with a more or less, I think, two to five maybe is what it's supposed to be, but it's it just feels like a modified three-player game. There's one character for... I've I played it a lot two-player and it plays nicely like that, except there's there's one character at least that has a power that lets you um, change the order from clockwise to counterclockwise, which doesn't make sense in a, in a two-player game. So you have to make little modifications like that if you're going to play that. But I really, I don't see any reason to not just play it with three players, uh, assuming you have uh, two-player games and other sorts of games. However, it, it does um, it does blend these, these very different sorts of games, the very, um, you know, the, the very, like, logical deduction and um, also the kind of psychologicalness of deduction, because you can kind of try and read people based on what they themselves uh, try to deduce for for the the prophecy, or um, what their actions are to try and figure out what what they're hiding. Um, there's also the the kind of like uh, the card the card play using the powers and the the creative sort of um, way of thinking. Uh, by by combining powers to get different effects, there's that going on too, and there are a lot of different uh, valid paths to victory because of that. And I think that's interesting that that it uh, allows for these two different ways of thinking, um, and we'll say three different ways of thinking because I'm sure there's another one I just forgot to mention um, to to get to victory. Hunting party.